hey there everyone uh, welcome back to this aws series now so far we have seen that how we can create a repository on a beanstalk and can deploy our code by creating an environment where environment and a server De deployment environment and a server so till now our app was live at this ip address colon port 3000 now our next job is to remove this port 3000 so from here onwards we are going to look at the concept of load balancing uh, we basically we are going to balance a load on this port 3000 so there are two concepts one is load balancing and second is target groups so before we create one load balancer we have to create one target group so just quickly navigate to target groups and we have to just create one target group so just give it a target group name of your choice i'm gonna give it as aws test target group now uh, here comes the important part uh, always remember that the port will be http only there are other ports as well HTTPS, TT, TCP, TLS, UDP and TCP underscore UDP but in our case we need HTTP port only and the port and the port number on which we are going to target is 3000 it's the important step because if we have changed this port from HTTP to something else it's not gonna work so just keep the keep rest settings as it is and click on next uh okay so after this after creating one target group we have to register our instance for which we have created one target group so in this case we have created a target group for this instance aws test so just uh, uh we have added this now what we have to do is just create a target group uh, we have noticed that you have some selections not including as pending okay so basically this step was missing we have to click on this include as pending below and now just create on create the target group so our target group is created successfully if we navigate to it uh, you can see that it's listening on port 3000 and the target is our that EC2 instance which we have created in the very first video of AWS so the work of target group is over now uh, in the next video we will see how we are going to create one application load balancer so see you in the next video thanks